Hi everyone, my name is Ritesh and you are watching Dancing with Data. And today our objective is to understand the difference between data model and semantic data model. Now, what is the difference? So if you're working with Power BI, you know that data set is now semantic model. And this semantic model is with the other tools like Tableau, Sigma, so forth and so on. So if you talk about the traditional data model, it passes through three different stages, conceptual, logical, and physical. So let us first try to understand the sequence when it comes to business intelligence solution. You first start with data modeling at data warehouse level or say database level. And when this data warehouse or this database is available to use, available for your business intelligence tools like Tableau or Power BI, you again create a semantic model specific to your project or your domain. And we call that as a semantic model. And somehow later on, when I will explain, you'll get to know that semantic model is nothing but a subset of data model. Before we move further, I'm giving my Tableau Dexter Specialist Certification course at 50% discount. Use discount code Diwali50 and you'll get all the details at the description and comment section. Now let's move on. Why do we even need a data model? Well, a data model is crucial for building business intelligence solutions that empower users to make data driven decisions and identify new business opportunities. So for example, or whether you have a cab service or a retail store, if you're leading the cab service department, I understand that you would love to get the best route or the optimized route for your drivers. But if you are the marketing head of the retail store in the market, you would love to perform the market basket analysis. But the question is, is your data enough? Is it in good shape? Are the relationships defined? So forth and so on. So you just don't create tables and populate data, but you do it. It means data modeling quite well in advance and it will pass through different stages, conceptual, logical and physical. Ajmal, one of the wonders of the world, passed through the same stages. First stage was the conceptual model one where Shah Jah came up with an idea. Similarly, when we take example of retail store, in the conceptual data model stage, we are talking about the business concept. You know, how you are carrying out your business, what are the key entities, so definitely there will be customers, there will be buyers, uh, there will be different locations, there will be different mode of transportation, there will be suppliers as well. So you will say that, okay, customers will buy products from these stores or online. So you're discussing basically about the business and therefore the main audience over here are the business stakeholders. And the main purpose over here is to define and communicate business terms and rules. This is the diagrammatic representation of the same. Now let's go back to Shah Jah. What about logical model? Now later on, Architects of Shah Jahan proposed design of Taj Mahal on paper or say you would have seen those Taj Mahal models right when if you have gone to the Agra For example, this is the 3d model of the Taj Mahal and this very particular model will define or this very particular model will be more instrumental in creating the actual Taj Mahal rather than the conceptual model Because you have the proper shape you can see the probable color and hence you will make use of this design more than the conceptual design model which was just an assumption ideas so forth and so on and that's why we call this model as logical model because you are going to make use of this logic coming back to our retail store with logical model now we define attributes and relationships so it's not all about entities but we are talking about attributes that means fields for product you will have product id product description category we can see relationships over there as well. We have defined the primary keys, foreign key. So if this is the sales transaction table for a particular product, there can be multiple rows in this table. Same goes for the store ID as well and date because within a day you can have multiple transactions or sales. So now here you define clear relationships and this is much closer to influence the ultimate physical model design or physical data model. The main audience over here are data architecture, business analyst, and this is the data model you pretty much replicate with Tableau, Power BI in the form of semantic model. That'll come later, just wait for that. The physical model for Shah Jah is nothing but the final construction of Taj Mahal where you will have the raw material, the actual raw material, and you decide from where you need to get it. Now with retail data waste model, you have the logical model with you and now you are in a position to pick or choose Oracle database, Microsoft SQL Server, equivalent to raw material of Taj Mahal. And now you have the proper name, nomenclature, data type, length of data type with respect to the database that you have chosen for yourself. For example, DUAL, dual, that you have something with Oracle. So you will not define any table as dual because this is an inbuilt table for Oracle. In addition to what we have discussed, you may have indexes to improve the performance of database. You may have triggers. You will have uh, security for sure. So you define persona specific security. 
Now imagine that you have successfully deployed your BA solution in terms of data warehouse. Your application is up and running. So let's meet in the second part for the detailed discussion of the semantic model. You can get that link at the description as well.